we will now discuss the solution of a problem that appeared in the CSIR National Eligibility Test held in December 2023. The problem is related to the infimum of a given set that is mentioned in the question paper. And this problem is from the section Real Analysis. This question is from the part B. It's a multiple choice question carrying three marks bearing the question ID 704021. And this question is suitable for the aspirants of JL, DL, TS set, AP set, IIT JAM and GATE examinations. The given question is consider the following subset of the set of real numbers capital R u is equal to the set consisting of x belongs to r satisfying x square minus 9x plus 18 less than or equal to 0 and x square minus 7x plus 12 less than or equal to 0. Right. Which one of the following statements is true? We are given four options related to the infimum of the set U. The infimum of the set U is given in options as 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. We have the given set of real numbers U is equal to x belongs to R satisfying x square minus 9x plus 18 less than or equal to 0 and x square minus 7x plus 12 less than or equal to 0. This can be written as the intersection of two sets as the set consisting of x belongs to R satisfying x square minus 9x plus 18 less than or equal to 0 intersection with the set consisting of x belongs to R satisfying x square minus 7x plus 12 less than or equal to 0. Right. Let's now first take the this first set. So first one x belongs to R the set x belongs to R satisfying x square minus 9x plus 18 less than or equal to 0 is equal to the set of all those real numbers x satisfying x minus 3 into x minus 6 less than or equal to 0. This is the factorization x minus 3 into x minus 6 is the factorization of x square minus 9x plus 18. So this product of these two factors is less than or equal to 0. Right. What are all those real numbers which will satisfy this one? So let us see, look at the real number line on which 3 and 6 are identified here as the points. If you take any, any x greater than 6, then x minus 6 is positive. So also x minus 3 is positive. The product is positive. So for any x bigger than 6, it is positive. This product is positive. Now, if you take an x greater than 3 but less than 6, then x minus 6 is negative x minus 3 is positive, the product is negative for any x that lies between 3 and 6. If you take any x less than 3, then x minus 3 is a negative, x minus 6 is a negative, the product is positive. Now what we want is for what values 
this product is less than or equal to 0. That is for all those values that lie between 3 and 6 including 3 and 6 because it is less than or equal to is there. So that means it is a closed interval 3 comma 6. Right. Let us go to the second, second set. The set consisting of x belongs to or satisfying x square minus 7x plus 12 less than or equal to 0 is equal to the set of all x belongs to R such that the product x minus 3 and x minus 4 that is the factorization for x square minus 7x plus 12 and the product of the factors is less than or equal to 0. Again we do the same thing as above. We draw a real number line, identify the points 3 and 4 for any x bigger than 4, for any x greater than 4, x minus 4 is positive, x minus 3 is also positive, the product is positive. For any x that lies between 3 and 4, the product is negative. For any x less than 3, both are negative, the product is positive. We want the product less than or equal to 0. Therefore, all those real numbers that lie between 3 and 4, including 3 and 4, because it is less than or equal to, will satisfy this inequality. Therefore, it is equal to the closed interval 3, 4. Agreed. What is that we want? U is the intersection of these two sets. So the first set is the closed interval 3 to 6, intersection the closed interval 3 to 4. The intersection if you take, it is the intersection is given as the closed interval 3 comma 4. Right, right. Now what we want the infimum of U, that is the infimum of the closed interval 3 to 4, it is obviously the infimum is 3. The reason is 3 is less than or equal to every element in the closed interval 3 to 4 and uh, no number greater than 3 is a lower bound for this set. Therefore, it is 3 is the greatest lower bound. In other words, 3 is the infimum of u. So, the infimum of u is 3. You can also see 4 is the supremum of u. But we are not concerned with that. The infimum of u is 3. Let us look at our options. Our option 3 says infimum of u is 3. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 3. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the given problem from the real analysis. And it is definitely a very easy question. At times, now very rarely, questions of this type, this type, that is questions of this easiness will come. It is, sometimes it happens, not always. So that is the detailed discussion and I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. If you like my videos, please like share and subscribe. I wish you all the best. Thank you.